most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together, we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to talk about the two fish I am no longer going to eat. Too much mercury. That says it all right there, Brad. Well, you know, we've been talking about this. Yeah, and, you well, know, well. we often talk about exercise. And we throw some diet in, and it's time to throw another diet one in. That's we, right. This one's uh, kind of across the board. It's going to affect all of us. It's all about me. All oh, right. <laughs> Bob, so, by the why way, if you, Bob? If you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Join us on some of our social media platforms, whichever ones you are on. Join us, especially like the Instagram yep. and uh, also Facebook, Bob and Brad. You're going to want to definitely jump over there right now oh. because we're doing a giveaway. We're doing a giveaway of the Sleep Ovation mattress once again. Uh, great mattress. Brad and I are big fans of it. We both have it. We both. Enjoy it. We both think it helps with uh, pressure relief. Right. It so. makes you sleep better. It's fun. Yeah. All right. This is one of these things, Brad, where I, when I first heard that, you know, you know, you got to watch the mercury levels in the fish that you eat, I thought, pshaw. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. everything's bad for you. Everything's going to kill you. Everything's going to... Sooner or later. Yeah. So and enjoy and just go and get something that looks like good quality. Yeah. So I did look it up and I'm like, okay, I will cut back a little bit. But then, then two things happened. My, okay. my wife was talking to my aunt about it, and she was tested positive for mercury poisoning. because she Recently? Ate, yes. Okay. Just, just within a couple months. How old so is she? She's in... Your aunt, not your wife. Yeah, my aunt's in her 70s. Okay. So so made me take pause, and she has a lot of problems, too, you know, okay. medical diagnoses. Um, so then the second thing, I'm, I listened to a podcast with Tim Ferriss again, and he's talking to Tony Robbins, the big, you know, yep. uh, I know he doesn't like to be called this, but he's a motivational coach, kind of like the, he likes to be called. Yeah, I'd say quietly, right? Yeah, yeah be right. listening. So Tony Robbins is talking about how he started losing his memory at these seminars. He couldn't remember what he was going to say next, and he was also getting some weakness and some weird signs. And we are going to go over the signs of having too much mercury, by the okay. way, too. So you can kind of look at that in your own life. But he, he, you know, he thought, "Oh my God, what's happening? I'm getting dementia. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm." And he's only 56. Oh yeah, so, so the aging process is coming early. He was 56 um, at the time of that podcast. Yep. I don't know how old he is now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he goes in. Turns out they test him for mercury. He's off the charts. They they said within a year you probably would have had a heart attack. I mean that's how high it was. Really, and mercury causes that can influence that. Apparently it is. That's okay. another one of the things that can it can do. He was eating. Let's let's throw this up here, Brad, because sure. this kind of shows the ones with the lowest level, lowest, modest, high, and highest. So that's the level of mercury that these yeah. fish have. So he was eating swordfish almost like daily, mm -hmm. and he was also eating a tuna. Now it's not all tuna, uh, like I, it's the one more like the tuna steaks. Sure. And he was eating that every day because you can eat the light uh, canned chunk tuna. Mm -hmm. Then that's only a modest amount of mercury, so that you're safe with that. You can have sure. a couple servings of that a, um, a week right. and not have to worry about it. So I guess I don't understand why the this tuna or that tuna. I'm not going to worry about it. It's yeah. They, a lot of these are even regional. Like sure. some fish are fine in this area, but they're not fine in this area. Okay. They have good charts. I I just wanted to kind of give you a, a general sense. Yep. Of what it was. One thing we we're talking before is if you're eating a, a larger fish that lives longer, right? Like a, you know, swordfish, they they live years or whatever. They have a lot more time to absorb, right? To absorb that, which which makes a lot of sense. And plus, they're eating smaller fish that have the mercury, and they're taking it into their sure. system. You are what you eat, you know. <laughs> there you go. So, and you know, I, I thought, oh, well, you're fine with the little lakes around here. You know, we we Minnesota land of ten thousand lakes, right? But you've got to. They apparently have warnings up there on, you know, as to sometimes the the contaminant levels can be high. Yep, you can look that up. Uh, the, the DNR, I know in Wisconsin, uh, it says eat so many fish from this lake per day, and you're safe if you go over that. You're, you know potential risk for mercury so yeah i was eating fish four days a week okay. so i i you know maybe i'm fine but but i'm gonna cut down to two and i'm, I'm gonna stick to salmon salmon's on the lowest amount right there yeah i was doing some cod cod would be fine but i don't want to do salmon and cod and and then i was doing the tuna uh, steaks which were really high so sure. I, I i definitely want to hold back i mean to show you i mean when you're pregnant they do not recommend any of these sure and they don't recommend young children to have any of these yep. either, yep. so it shows you that you know it's some like if you're going to become pregnant, even you want to 
kind of cleanse your body beforehand sure. and not have it in your system. Right, uh, that, that so makes a lot of sense. One more thing to worry about, Liz. When you <laughs> <laughs> wow. Liz is going to probably have child number three someday, right? Someday. All right. All right. Okay, well, anyway, what are the signs of mercury poisoning? Uh, we'll go through those. Uh, one that makes sense, the metallic taste in your mouth. You, know, you can actually. You guys, you can taste it, I sure. guess. Sure. A vomiting, uh, the one that uh, Tony Robbins was talking about, memory problems. He said, in fact, his doctor told him that often uh, people who are getting dementia, um, they're misdiagnosed. They actually are having a, a mercury or some metal problem. Wow. And yeah. Yep. Uh, swollen or bleeding glum, gums, a loss of peripheral vision. I can see you, Brad. <laughs> I'm good on that way. Uh, pins and needles in the hands, feet, and mouth. Um, oh. you know, that's like neuropathy. Right, but, uh, right. Uh, it could be another thing you could... Uh, muscle weakness, which I think that was another one that Tony Robbins was feeling a little bit of. Sure, feeling so, a little weak. Uh, impairment of speech, hearing, and walking. Lack of coordination. Uh, uh, uncontrolled shaking or t tremors. And then, of course, we talked about the memory problems. So all these right. are some of the issues. You know, get, um, if you're worried at all, go ahead. You know, when you go in to see your doctor, have a metals test, and they can check things out. So it's a relatively simple test. I, I think. think so. It's just a blood test. Right. So it, You know, like so many other symptoms, I mean... If you look at half of these symptoms, it's very consistent with a lot of uh, other, other issues. Too. Right. So don't get all excited if you know you got mercury poison. If two of those are consistent with, well, you I think have. if you eat a lot of fish, that's, right? That, yeah, that, that's a good that, point. That, I mean, that that's when you should start to you know maybe be aware. Yeah. And and, and uh, which you know. is unfortunate because I always go to fish as my this is going to be my good healthy meal. They got right. some of the omega three right. oils. And, you know, with the salmon. Luckily, salmon is on the lower, on the lower end. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, all right. I just had salmon last night. I made I did it too. on the grill, and it turned out good. I did. It happens. I did. By the way, I, I used to eat the skin, and now I don't eat the skin anymore. Oh, you said that you don't eat the skin. No, no. I would. I don't, that's probably where I the bad stuff it, is. Actually, that's what they're saying. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Oh, so, so I did something right. You did, yeah. <laughs> for once. Take care. Be Thanks careful. Thanks for watching.